To create a new GitHub repository, we'll first need to navigate to github.com and then sign in and select New Repository. Once we're creating the new repository, we'll of course need to name it. And you can optionally give it a description, make it private, or initialize this repository with a readme. For our purposes, since we're creating the repository from the command line, we will not use these options. Once you've created your blank repository, hit create. Now that the repository is created, we will want to copy the git URL that is available from this menu. Once it's copied, let's go over to our git bash terminal in order to continue to create the repository from the command line. Now that we're in git bash, we'll want to verify that we are in the proper directory for uploading our code. We can do that by typing the pwd or print working directory command. This verifies that I am in my correct TechSnips demo directory. Then we can run git init to initialize the repository. Once initialized, we can add a remote origin using the URL generated from the GitHub interface. When it's added, we will add all of the files in our repository to our first commit. Then we will create a commit message once the commit is created, we will finally push to the master branch. You may need to accept the authenticity certificate from GitHub. Now that we've pushed our code, let's go back to GitHub and verify that our code is present. We'll refresh the screen and we see that our initial script is there. Thanks for watching.